गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड आई एम डॉक्टर वाई डी द्विवेदी प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एरोनॉटिकल इंजीनियरिंग हैदराबाद इंडिया एंड टॉपिक इज स्टिक फ्री स्टेबिलिटी टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट स्टिक फिक्स्ड स्टैटिक स्टेबिलिटी इन दैट वी हैव सीन दैट आवर स्टिक वाज फिक्स्ड वी आर नॉट कंसीडर दैट एयरक्राफ्ट इज योर कंट्रोल्स आर फ्लोटिंग बट हियर वी विल यूज दैट एयरक्राफ्ट्स कंट्रोल्स आर आल्सो फ्लोटिंग so in this topic we are going i am going to cover the following topics first is stick free stability then elevator required to trim the aircraft for stick free case floating of elevator hinge movement during float also i am going to this lecture is going to answer some questions like what is stick free stability what is the effect of stick free on stability of the aircraft these things i am going to cover in detail and hope this will be very useful for those students or those learners those who want to know what is the effect of floating of any control means the aerodynamic effect is also felt in the control also which we have neglected till now so <coughs> what do you mean by controlling the aircraft meaning of trim point so what is the trim point and what is the controlling of the aircraft this we have to understand okay so if you see that in if we increase the alpha this you can see here if we increase here alpha or cl then what happen your if you take the longitudinal case negative cm is there so here dcm by dcl is negative generated a cm which is a negative so it is a statically stable in longitudinal case the second condition of this thing should be cm not it should be positive or greater than 0 if you are able to meet this two condition that dcm by dcl is less than 0 or negative here we can say this is a negative and cm not is positive then we can say that aircraft is statically stable in longitudinal case in this we have to fly in this in this uh, we have to fly suppose i want to fly a different alpha so here if you see this is the trim condition at 1 so if you want to fly at this then we need a this is the cl in this cl we don't have cm is equal to 0 so it is a state case okay but if i want in this plot if i if uh, suppose i want to fly it at a different alpha or the different cl so this is the one and if i want to fly at two condition then what i have to do suppose this is the cl is equal to 0.6 and here the at cl1 and cl2 is equal to 0.8 so if i want to fly at 0.8 then what i have to do so you can see here that if i want to fly at 0 at point 2 i have to draw a perpendicular line in this plot and then you will see that this cm is negative here you are getting cm is negative so what is the meaning of cm of is negative if this is the aircraft you can see that if the cm is negative means it is nose is going down like this if nose is going down then what we have to do we have to use the elevator and elevator should make the nose up so how it will make up okay so so it will be generated a negative cm so forcefully we have to generate a positive cm so that it will be nullified so how we can generate a positive cm here the elevator has to go up if elevator is going upward a lift force will be generated downwards and your nose will go up okay so you can see here if you want to fly at a higher cl than the trimmed condition we have given here at 0.6 is a 
CL is a trim condition, but I want to fly this aircraft at 0.8, then what I have to do? So I here by this, your CM will be negative, aircraft nose will go start down. So you have to put your elevator upward. If you are putting your elevator upward, a lift force will be generated downwards and a CM positive will be generated. And this CM positive and the, the CM which is generated minus from CL 0.8 has to be counter. So CM at 0.6 should be equal to the CM at 0.8. So th this will come only when we have to apply a elevator upward. A upward elevator is called the negative. Same way, if you want to fly this aircraft at 0.4, okay, then what will happen here? So here you are getting CM positive. Okay, here is the positive. So you have to make this thing down, this down will convert, convert to CM negative. So if you want to increase the CL or if you want to increase the angle of attack, a different angle of attack for the to make the aircraft trim, we have to make elevator up or down. If you want to fly at a more angle of attack, your your uh, this um, uh, your uh, this elevator will go negative. And if you want to fly at a less angle of attack, then your elevator should go past. Okay, it is very conflicting and you should understand very carefully. Here you can see that we have already seen that delta E is equal to delta E naught plus D delta E by DCL into CL trim, where D delta E by DCL trim is equal to minus DCM by DCL and CM delta E. And so this DCM by DCL is called the static margin SM. So CM delta E control power required large as highly static stable will make more power to control. If you are, you can see here, if the SM is more here, this is the static margin SM. If this value is more, then this should be very high. Okay, so this you need more control power for a highly stable aircraft. So that is the objective of this. So delta E required and CL trim to be given delta E naught plus delta E by delta CL. I need to know a priori that particular CL trim because I need to know at what CL trim. This is a CL trim. We should fly the aircraft. So stick fixed. What is the meaning of stick fixed? Stick fixed means not allowed to float the elevator. In a stick fixed case, we are making that it is a fixed. It is not moving. It is not happy, affecting by any aerodynamic condition. If you fixed at a five degree, it will remain at the five degree. But in the real case, due to aerodynamic forces, some forces will be acting on that and aircraft will, that your control will start floating. It will go beyond of that fixed condition. So that is called the stick free. Okay. So now what is the floating? Elevator to elevators are free at hinge. So a pressure distribution, if you, if you see here, this is the pressure distribution. A pressure distribution will act at the elevator here. And th this will make the aircraft to float. This, this will make the elevator or the control to float. Then a force will be generated and will try and a lift force will be generated and this force will try to make the control to float. If you know the most of the time the CP is behind the hinge line. If you see here, this is the hinge line and this here is the CP. So this CP, the lift will act here and it will try to float means it will go upward like this. Okay. So hinge line elevator will have a tendency to float. So this hinge moment is equal to hinge moment. We can model hinge moment is equal to half rho V square T S E C E C H. So this hinge mo moment is what? This is the force and this is the hinge moment coefficient C H. So this is the force into CH. 
where CE is equal to the from hinge line to the trailing edge of the uh, this elevator is called the CE. It is a chord of elevator. So hinge line to trailing edge is called the CE and AC is the area of the elevator. Okay. So here half rho v square of the uh, tail and AC, CE and CH. Where CH is a hinge moment coefficient. So this you can see that we want to know how CH will be why this hinge moment coefficient CH. So CH is a function of alpha t, delta e and delta t. So the, what is this? Delta e is a elevator deflection. Delta t is a tap deflection. So here we can see that we are not considering now tap. So this parameters we can make zero. So this CH coefficient of hinge moment is a function of alpha t. This is a uh, angle of attack for the tail and it is a elevator deflection. So we will assume that CH can be expanded in linearly, but its, uh, uh, it's uh, productive may not be linear, but in the practically it may not be linear. Two types of controls are there. First is the reversible control and second one is the irreversible control. So reversible control means if you put the stick forward, your control will go or once you move your control, your stick will also move. So like this in olden days, we used to have like that and it is directly mechanically linked. So these type of controls are called the reversible control and this floating is mostly experienced by the reversible control. Nowadays, we use the irreversible control in that if you move the, your control stick, control will move, but once you move the control, your stick will not move. So that is called the irreversible control. In irreversible control, we use the boosters, okay, and all these electrical and mechanical devices we are using so that we are now mostly focusing on reversible control only. So how much stick force pilot to apply for this deflection of elevator? We will be taking about talking about stick free stability. Can I model this phenomena by mathematics? So now we will be discussing about modeling of stick free stability. So now <coughs> this this. Delta E float. What will be the delta E float? So CH is, is, is equal to zero means there is no coefficient of hinge moment. In the if it is a linear, then CH is equal to CH naught plus CH alpha t into alpha t plus CH delta E into delta E by using Taylor series. Okay. Using Taylor series. We assume that CH naught CH uh, okay, is equal to zero for the symmetrical aircraft. So this we have assumed that it is a zero. Okay, so for this thing, for it, it, it floats till CH is equal to zero. Here CH alpha t is equal to dCH by d alpha t and it is a partial derivative of this uh, CH alpha t. Okay, so now <laughs> If the CH is equal to zero, then CH alpha t into alpha t plus CH delta E into delta E float. It will become the float. Okay, so now we can find out how much is delta E float. So delta E float is equal to minus CH alpha t by CH delta E into alpha t. Okay, we decide delta E a positive or negative. So you can see that if this thing um, positive and negative that we, we can see. So as long as hinge line is ahead of the CP, CH alpha T and CH delta E are negative. Okay. As long as CP is ahead, HL is ahead of the CP means the hinge line is forward of the CP, CH alpha T and CH delta E both are negative or less than zero then for positive alpha t we get delta e negative so if this is negative this is negative and if this is the positive we will get the negative delta e okay so this is the float and how so 
float up. So if it is the like this case, your elevator will move upward like this. Just you can see. If your hinge line is ahead, then the CP it will try to move up. That is called the float up. Okay. So alpha t it will float ahead. So I will. Uh, if you make the five degree pilot should as much effort so that five is aimed. So it will go by its own five few degree up. So if you want to make the down. If suppose the floating is one degree and pilot want to make the five degree down, so he has to put six degree. Okay, pilot has to put. If you want to make down, he has to make a six degree. But if you want to make up five degree, he has to make only four degree. Because one degree already has gone up due to the aerodynamic hinge moments and the motion, and your elevator has gone up. So if you want to make upward. Then you have, if the pilot want to fly five degree upward elevator, he has to move only four degree. But if you want to make five degree down, he has to make the six degree. Then only it will be able to compensate. Okay, so stability for stick free case. Now we have to discuss about stick free case for stick fix. We have already discussed. Now it is a small uh, uh, for hands off means. Pilot need not to put any effort. So here, C L T is equal to C L alpha T into alpha T plus C L delta E into delta E. So C L T is equal to C L alpha T alpha T minus plus C L delta E. Here we can put delta E is equal to minus C H alpha T by C H delta E into alpha T. So here we can take here C L alpha T here common here one minus. C L delta E by C L alpha T, C H alpha T by C L delta E into alpha T. So here you will get C L alpha T one minus. This is is equal to tau. So one minus tau C H alpha T divided by C H delta E into alpha T. So C L T is equal to function of C L alpha T into alpha T. And here is a f. This is a f. This value we have. Put here f. So means this much variation. In the previous case, when we have taken the fixed case, it was coming C L T is equal to C L alpha T into alpha T. But here, if it is floating, C L T is equal to f is floating C L alpha T into alpha T. So this f is what is this f? F is this. This is the value of f which you have to add in this case. If it is a Stick free case, this f function is coming. The f is equal to one minus tau c h alpha t by c h delta e. So what is this uh, tau? Tau we have already studied. It is a ratio, and it will give some value for s e by s t. S e is a elevator area divided by tail area. Mostly it is zero point four to zero point six. So here this c l Prime alpha t is equal to f c l alpha t. So here we can write that c l alpha t prime for the free condition is equal to c l f c l alpha t. Okay. So here is some difference is experience. So physical meaning of this thing I I have just explained you that this is a new equilibrium. So When the floating condition is there, a new equilibrium will be reached. So this uh, C L alpha is less. So you can use, but changing C L alpha t to C L prime alpha t. Okay. So these things we have to see. So for the stick fixed case, C M C G is equal to for stick fixed we have already learned that C M naught plus D C M by D C L S F C L. For here, stick free case C M C G is equal to C M naught plus D C M by D C L prime C L. So oh, that is the difference. Here we have to use all prime. Okay. So here, this you can see it is a fixed case. It is going like this. For the free case, it is reduced. The slope of this thing is reduced. So means it is less stable. 
So DCM by DCL stick fixed is greater than DCM by DCL stick float or static margin reduced due to floating. So if the aircraft, if the controls are floating, if the controls are floating, then static margin is reduced. Static margin is reduced and the control and the static stability static stability also reduced in floating conditions okay so this is the effect and that is the unique so if it normally in the real case your uh, aircraft controls are floating so it will reduce the static stability there is no problem in that as it is going upward okay so now this we can see here that again i am just going in that cm not is equal to cm not w this is the wing plus cm fuselage plus cm alpha t it is for the tail so this is the wing contribution fuselage contribution and the tail contribution okay so here you can see that dcm by dcl is equal to xcg minus xac plus dcm by dcl fuselage minus cl alpha t by cl alpha wing vh neta t 1 minus d epsilon by d alpha okay here cm naught is equal to cm wing plus cm fs plus here just you can see this will two will be same only here cl prime a term is coming okay so this cl prime alpha t will be varying and here xcg minus xac here also you can see here here is not prime and here you are adding the prime so this prime and which we have already seen that what is the meaning of the prime so these parameters will affect the static stability of the aircraft so now the neutral point what is the effect of the neutral point on the due to floating of the uh, this thing so here x neutral point no is equal to x a w minus dcm by dcl of fuselage plus cl alpha t by cl alpha w vh and theta here if you see x prime here it is the floating condition because i am taking here the floating so x prime no is equal to x a c this will say here here prime is not there but here i have put the clt prime by cl alpha only these parameters will change and accordingly you can calculate and you will find that this no is also reduced so how did you find and define a stick free neutral point what is that location where dcm by dcl is equal to zero so in the stick free case we need to put cl prime in place of cl alpha t as function of f is added so cg location at at which dcm by dcl free is zero so what is the cg location for the free condition so where dcm by dcl free is zero called the stick free neutral point we are now trying to model stick force required by the pilot in stick free case and how much delta e required can i relate to stick force with hands off flying so mathematically model to relate with this stick free cases is for the reversible control so this you can see here in an airplane flying at cl1 and it is also started flying at the in this initially it is like this and it is change to the new flying condition so how much delta e trim is required for this new cl condition by the pulling of the aircraft so delta e required is equal to delta e plus delta delta e by dcl cl trim and if i see that d delta e by dcl is equal to minus dcm by dcl cm delta e so minus dcm by dcl is stick free by dcl cm delta e so now 
delta E required is decided by DCM by DCL stick fixed. So DCM by DCL stick fixed is equal to minus X bar neutral point minus X bar CG is equal to minus static margin. This is very important. So delta E required is governed by DCM by DCL. So delta E required, you see it is very important. Delta E required is governed by DCM by DCL. It is very good. So how much you want delta E? It is directly related with DCM by DCM. So give a feel to pilot how much force he need to apply. This will come by stick free condition. Okay, so how much force is required? This will come by the stick free condition. But how much deflection is required? It is delta E is required. It will come by stick free. So stick free and stick fix. We have to be very careful that stick free is only required to find out how much force is required by the pilot. How much force the pilot has to apply in the stick so that he can get the required deflection of the elevator. So this you can you can see that one example is here that uh, delta E required. So here is a delta E1 is equal to CL1, delta E2 is equal to CL2, delta E is equal to CL3. So here this CL1 and 2, delta E is equal to minus 4 and delta E is equal to minus 6. So aircraft number 2 is statically more stable than the required more delta E. So here delta 2 is required more delta E. So aircraft which required which required more elevator deflection is more stable. Okay. So in this way how much pilot applying to this to get the feel to quantify we need to put stick free stability so but how much force is required this you can do delta e requirement you can find out the stick free condition stick free case stick fixed case okay how much it is required by stick fixed case but how much force is required how much force required you can find out you can find out by stick free case okay that we will be seeing that how much force is required in the next class we will see that how much force is required and by the pilot when aircraft is statically stable and what is the difference between the force of stick fix and stick free and so th okay, these are my references. The, uh, I'm using the ro ro Robert C. N Nelson Aircraft Stability and Automatic Control and NPTEL lecture from uh, Dr. A.K. Ghosh, IIT Kanpur. These are the links. And thank you very much for joining this class. Hope in my next class, we will understand that what is the real effect of stick free on pilot force. This will be seeing our next course where we will find out the F, the force required by the pilot. Okay, thank you very much for the joining the class and I will see in the next class. Thank you very much. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.